Hi loves, so I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys about how I got into the tech industry and basically my background and how I started. So I'll be sharing with you guys a little bit on that today. But first, let's get our beverage. I'm having some Red Bull today. I'm actually trying out the, the winter edition from Red Bull. I hope it's good. I really hope it's good. industry because I had just quit my job I was working as an administrator at an office so boring I know I hated the job so I actually quit my job and then after quitting I wanted to learn how to code funny enough I had never seen anyone sharing about how to get into tech without a degree or with no experience but in this particular year I, I think it was in 2022 yeah 2022 that's when i started seeing a lot of the hype about getting into tech with no degree and no experience so i took it upon myself to teach myself how to code i learned html by myself as well as css and i really enjoyed it so i started to take it very seriously because i was home and unemployed and not doing anything with my time and i really wanted to change my life and do something that i really really love Someone asked me that, what degree do I have? Uh, or what background do I have? I actually study at the University of the Free State, a Bachelor of Science in Human Genetics. I did my undergrad in Human Genetics, and then I went on and did my honors for one year in Human Genetics. Um, I was very grateful to be accepted into the honors program because there was probably like 10 or 15 of us out of the whole undergrad class that we had which was like over probably 400 students and for me i feel like yes i was in that field but i wasn't really passionate about it and i only became honest with myself only after i graduated that this is not really what i want to do i feel like i wasted five years in varsity to be quite honest with you but there are a lot of things that i learned and transferable skills that I still use to this day from that degree. Now I'm gonna share with you guys what I did exactly to get into tech. I wanted to be certified and I didn't want to pay for expensive boot camps, not knowing where this was gonna take me. So I decided to do she codes. For those of you who do not know, she codes is basically a coding workshop for women. They basically teach you the foundation of software development especially front-end development so i i solidified my skills in html css and then i learned javascript that's where i first learned javascript which was very challenging for me in the beginning but having someone like matt i love his teaching style and how he explains things and basically everything was online and i was able to do it at my own pace I was so determined guys to break into tech that all I did was code. I was teaching myself, I was watching videos every day. I would probably spend my whole day just on my computer and studying and learning and coding and building stuff. And then I decided to build my first project and my first project was in React. So this was the first framework that I actually used after learning JavaScript. Basically guys, what I did was that I followed a tutorial on YouTube. I'll probably share the tutorial if I can find it. And I followed the tutorial step by step to build this project. And the project was, was a movie app. I called it Movie Land. And it had an API where I was drawing all of my movies from, a, da a database. And then, um, yeah, the front end was built in React. 
react and i think that's where my love for react came from because that was like the first project i ever built so i'm going to share with you guys the project i'll leave the link to my github also in the description so you guys can check it out and i'll also probably share it with you guys i'm actually going to run it right now to check if it still works because it's been three years since i coded or built that project it still runs oh my goodness it actually still works which is so crazy to me oh my gosh it still works till this day i'm very proud of myself for building that project i was helped by my mentor um, which was someone i found on linkedin i didn't even know him personally like that but i just dm'd him um yeah so basically after learning html css and javascript i was so delusional guys that i just went and started applying for jobs i remember i applied to a specific grad program in pretoria and that's when my mentor was working at the time and because i had applied for the grad program i was going through linkedin and checking all the people that were working there and if ever i saw someone that was approachable i approached them via dm and asked them how does the interview process go what questions do they ask how can i prepare better for this interview you know and just asking them questions and he was very very kind to share so much information with me that he would even jump on calls with me whenever i was stuck on my project on my first project that i built with react he actually helped me to deploy the project i knew nothing about deployment at that time shout out to my mentor actually because he was so so helpful and i actually dm'd him and a couple of other people from that job from that company and they were all so helpful guys they were everyone was willing to answer me and give me answers and point me in the right direction and give me advice which i was so grateful for because i don't think i would have been here today if it wasn't for their kindness and i don't think i would have continued to want to be on that journey if i didn't get that kind of support in the beginning so i'm very very grateful and that is why you guys i push the content that i push on youtube and on tiktok because i really believe that having people like that really changed my life especially coming from someone who was unemployed for so long and i had no idea what i wanted to do and tech really did change my life if you are interested in coding and you don't know where to start i highly suggest she codes because that's where i started as well i will link it down below for you guys so that you can get 20 percent off using my link if you are interested in she codes basically start your journey in tech i wish you guys all the best on your journey in tech and tag me down below or comment down below how your journey started Comment down below actually how you started your journey in tech. Let me know, are you guys self-taught? Are you a bootcamp student? Are you a CS degree holder? I'm actually quite in interested to see um, because I'm self-taught and I work with a lot of people who are self-taught as well as who hold a degree in CS or IT. And for me, I feel like the experience is the same for all of us at the end of the day. It doesn't matter if you have a degree or you went to a boot camp. At the end of the day, it's about the skill that you can bring and also the problem solving that you can bring. And I feel like recruiters are very interested in that. The number one thing that I would probably um, suggest for you guys, especially if you're beginning in your journey into tech, is always have code that you're pushing on your github have a github account where you're pushing code and building a project and from these projects you can actually add them onto your portfolio which is step number two build a portfolio of projects and someone asked me what kind of projects do juniors have to build right or what are the types of projects that juniors can build to be able to get jobs i highly suggest that you build projects that actually have meaning to you and that you are passionate about because these are projects that you will have to share about in an interview and if you show passion about it and you actually solve an actual problem that will make you stand out completely from other people and just know your crud operations be able to create something to read information 
function to update on your project as well as to delete i believe that these are the four important principles that you can apply to actually have a project that solves a real life problem the first project that i highly recommend for beginners or for junior developers is absolutely a portfolio because this is where you're going to showcase all of your projects and this is where you showcase all of the things that you are interested in all right this is basically like a resume in the tech industry and it will show them your tech stack and everything that you've built and the skill that you bring basically to the table so that is first on the list secondly i would say any project that is full stack is a must because this is going to show the recruiter that you are someone who is able to build real life projects that are able to solve real problems in the world and having a full stack project because also this will show them that you're not just someone who is there to be a coder but you're actually there to solve problems as well so pick a project that solves a specific problem and then this will make you really really stand out so yeah those are the two advices that i would give you build a github account um, push code consistently build a portfolio and then yeah if you guys want to see my portfolio <laughs> leave a green heart below and i'll probably do a video so yeah thank you guys so much for joining me on today's video if you guys have any more questions let's keep the chat going in the comments i'm happy to answer any question that you guys have and thank you guys so much for supporting my content i love you guys and i appreciate you so so much bye